All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how AI can help us find low competition keywords for our niche. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be using a new plugin, which is actually cool. If you guys want me to do more chat GPT plugin reviews or just kind of letting you know what plugins I'm using or discovering, then leave that in the comments below. I'd be happy to make some content and some videos about these, but we're gonna be looking at surge.ai it's a plugin that's going to go out there and look at trending keywords super super cool stuff um, and if you have access to chat gpt plus it's 20 dollars a month then you'll you'll be able to have access to all these different tools and then you wouldn't need any other keyword research tools i'm going to show you how i use a combination of both to find some cool keywords before we do that let's go over and make sure that if I go to new chat over here, what you would do is you would go to the GPT-4 over here and you'll notice that you can go to the plugins section right over here. And you're gonna see all these different plugins that I do have installed. And in order to use them, you've got to check mark them, right? And so what you would wanna do is go and find this one right over here that's called Surge AI, what's trending? And you're gonna go ahead and click that, right? You can also go to the plugin store. I'm gonna say, okay. And it takes a second to load. And this is just crazy that like a month ago, there was literally like less than 50 plugins in here. This is a really popular one that still is one of the best ones, I think, on the store for SEO and YouTube and so forth. Vox Script and WebPilot still are proving to be the best plugins for scraping content using ChatGPT4. I only have a few that actually are installed. And you can see that right here, just a couple. But we're going to go over here. And once we click on all, so you're going to have popular, you're going to have new, and then just look at all they're going to, they need to organize this into different categories. And you just know that they just don't have the time that they're not really putting a whole lot of energy into this. And then, you know, in a sense, it is up to content creators and so forth to actually let people know about these tools, but this marketplace is getting out of hand. There is 97 pages of plugins right here so you can search that's cool they did add the search box but still if they had some categories even breaking it into just like five major categories would be helpful but this is how you find it you would just come over and just type in surge that's actually kind of interesting it says surge.ai but just type in what's trending so you're gonna come over here go to all and then say trend and just type in trend and you're going to see these other ones over here but there's what's trending go ahead and install that plugin and you'll be good to go if you don't know how to use that you actually have to go over here to the settings over here then you got to go to settings and then you go to beta features and just make sure that these boxes are ticked right here, plugins right there. Okay, so now we can get started. I'm gonna come back over here and I've already done some work ahead of time. That's gonna help save some time. But here's the prompt that I came up with. Use the most appropriate plugin for this prompt. So I have these three up here selected. I've got the What's Trending plugin right here. I've got Vox Script and I've got the, what is it, the, the Web Pilot. And so those are the ones, these two, I almost have all the time when I'm using the plugin, but I just said use the most appropriate and it is choosing to use the what's trending because it's a keyword research tool built into chat GPT for super cool stuff. But I say, I use the most appropriate plugin for this prompt. Give me a list of 20 extremely. And of course you can change that to 50, 100, 10, whatever you want to do, but give me a list of 20 extremely low competition keywords for my niche website about gardening. The keywords must be long tail keywords that have at least six keywords so this part right here it it is not using that it's really just giving me trending topics that have to do anything to do with gardening and that's what it's doing so think of it as a little bit more broader i needed to take one step back be, but I do have a second step over here that I'm going to show you what you can do. So really, you don't need this in your prompt, but you can use the rest of this for your prompt. Okay. So then what it says, here are some top growing keywords related to gardening from June 18th, 2023 to June 25th, 2023. And right now at the time of recording this video, it is June 27th. So this is going to be very current. It is using the surge.ai. And then right here, we have these biodynamic gardening, all these different things that I never would have even thought of 
like right over here, we're going to look at some plowing and gardening, wine gardening, all kinds of good stuff. Please note that these are long tail keywords that are currently trending. They're really not long tail keywords, but still what it's going to tell us is that these it has the searches right here. And then the 180%, the 10,000%, all that kind of stuff. Those are how much that it has changed. I believe it explained it in one of my other times that I use this. I ah, can't find where it says that, but it explains what the percentages is. But that's just how much it's trended over the last month or over the last six months or something like that. So really, really cool stuff. It gives you some, some data right there. So what you can do is you can take this biodynamic gardening. If you click on that, it's just going to open up in a tab. You can go and do a little bit of research, what the sites look like and so forth. But another cool thing that we can do is we can go in and we can actually type in, go into Insta keywords and type in biodynamic gardening. And we're going to be able to see that it's a great keyword. We can look at trends over here that it is on an upward trend as well right there it says that it's a great keyword in this tool uh, you have your cost per click and your search volume and of course you're going to get some other variations of keywords and like i said these right over here are keywords that you could go for that may not have a rating or search volume, but it is being registered by the tool. And this is used, Insta Keywords uses autocomplete. So that means that people are typing in these keywords. So you could go and just easily create a quick silo that has to do with biodynamic gardening. Super cool stuff. Okay. So that's how you would use Insta Keywords. I think it'd be great. You can also come in here and go to keyword research right over here and just grab the the keyword and then just throw it in into se ranking right you're going to still see it's an easy keyword right here not a lot of content and competition going on we can go and look at 19 more keywords that se ranking is pulling you can also go in and look at different trends biodynamic gardening calendar this might be a great keyword it's really trending right now you could also make a video about it and really go in and try to dominate this keyword. The keyword difficulty is 10 right there. And then you can also go and look at the domain authorities right over here. So there's a weak domain right here, rank number five. It only has a 14 domain, a domain trust score right there. And then also the page trust is really, really low. So there's a huge, this, this also is a way to identify great opportunities using SE ranking right here. So there's definitely some opportunities right here in the top 10. We've got an eight and a two right there as well. And then we just kind of keep on cruising. We can come through over here and go to beyond me. And I already did this ahead of time as well. We can go into biodynamic gardening. I discovered 147 more keywords. We've analyzed a couple. I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like down here as well. So what we've done is it's going to pull all these keywords. What we can do over here is a ton of keywords, right? I don't really recommend, you know, spending all your credits and just blasting through analyzing all these keywords unless you're very confident about the keyword that you really want to build a big silo. But this is such a specific keyword biodynamic gardening that we probably wouldn't be creating more than 10 blog posts about it. So I'm going to just show you what you can do is you can go over. I'll actually, I'll do that in a second, but I want to just go over to the analyzed section. So we'll go to the analyzed section. And just so you guys know on beyond me, I know a lot of you are confused. It, it, I didn't see the timer on it while it was on AppSumo because I just got my review out and usually, and then it just went away after like a day or two. So I've actually reached out to them. Hopefully they'll be getting back to me. I'm actually going to try to get them to offer a lifetime deal just for my LearnWire viewers. So we can get a, some type of lifetime deal back for just you guys. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Who knows if they will do that or not, but if not, you're able to sign up at their site, you know, on their normal pricing page. It is a lot like low fruits and I'm really, really liking it the more I'm using it because you're going to be able to see all these different weak spots, right? So right here, biodynamic farming versus organic, it does have 20 volume. I don't go by the competition score because this is the way that I take this. This is search advertiser competition. So that just really is not something that I'm interested in because that has to do with paid traffic. But what I do see right here, low domain authority, there is a low domain in this top 10 right there. And so that is why that you're going to see the weak spots right over here. You have an, a domain of eight and or a domain authority of eight and nine right here. Super cool stuff. And so we can also click right there on the hamburger icon and then we can come over here and see where these weak domains are and they're right here at rank number eight or nine. So we could create content easily with that. Okay. So super cool stuff.
I'm gonna come back over here and go through this exercise one more time because what you can do is you can go through and I'll show you that I selected plowing plowing a garden, right? That could be a whole topic on a website. It looks like that for whatever reason, this is on the, the rise right here as far as trending. So we can come back over here to the keyword lab section and we can go into the plowing a garden right here. And you're going to see all these keywords right here. Okay. So that's what I wanted to show you guys next. So that second part of the phrase, the keywords must be long tail keywords. We can come back up here and we can actually do a new prompt in ChatGPT. turn off your plugins and just say, give me 20 long tail keywords that have at least six words in the phrase for the niche, or I should have said keyword plowing a garden. And so look, it gives us all these different keywords that we could go for. So what I did was I copied all these 20 keywords. And then what I did was I took it over to beyond me. And what you can do is you can go into the keyword lab section over here and you actually can go into the import and you can paste all those keywords right here, name your report and push save. And you can actually, since it's only 20 keywords, you just click this and it'll analyze them all. And that's what I did to get to this report right here. And then what I did was I looked over here and I did look, none of the keywords had any volume at all. There's a lot of opportunity. You could go and test this out, see if you get any traffic on these keywords, but there is no search volume being registered right here. So you can just choose to do some experiments and see if you can rank for some of these or not. But then another thing that you can do is use beyond me is just to type that plowing a keyword, plowing a garden and it found 327 related keywords. It's giving us a 59% opportunity score. The higher than this number, I believe the better. 158 weak spots. I analyzed all 300 keywords. There's 267 analyzed keywords. Let me show what I did in order to narrow the 327 down to at least 267. Because right now using this, t this tool, I'm really interested in going in and going to the volume. And what I did was I selected 10 right here. So I always put in 10. And I believe that that's all I really did. You won't be able to use DA or weak spots or anything like that until you actually analyze the keywords. But really that's what I did. Another thing you could do is go to words, but since this is such a a uh, specific topic. I don't want to cut myself short from ranking for these keywords that people are actually typing in. So always start off with volume and go with 10 right here. It's going to minimize it down, at least give you the keywords that have some search volume that's registered, right? And then what you can do is you would just select them all and you would analyze them, right? So we've already analyzed them because you won't get this hamburger icon right here unless you analyze the keywords. Once you analyze the keywords, then you'll be able to come in here and go to weak spots. And what I like, at least one in the top 10 or at least one in the top three. So if you can look at these ones in the top three, this is gonna give you your list of all these keywords that have like massive opportunity right here. You have all these different social media sites and low domain authority, 20 search volume right here. So this Coleman iron mule garden plow, we can look at this and we can see that this is a forum right here. So you can see that this is a forum. So if we do a comprehensive guide, there's a chance that we can rank all the way number one. And then you come over here with that exact keyword and you make a quick YouTube video about it. You could grab the first and second spot, right? And so that's where these weaknesses come from. We have over here a media. This is like a, is that like a PDF or something like that? But there's a weak spot there. Here's another weak spot. And then right here, this is just a straight up a low domain right here. And so there is an opportunity for this keyword. So we could literally just go and grab all these keywords right here. Definitely sift through them. Some of them may not 100% have to do with gardening and plowing. So you'll want to just sift through them, spend five minutes, make sure you get rid of a couple of them. And then once you're done with that, you could actually export it or copy them and then go and get all of these keywords written for you and for your blog, okay? So we're literally using AI the entire time. Even these keyword tools right here, they have algorithms and they're using AI in order to find all this data for us for keywords that we wanna go after, okay? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick video and tutorial on how we can use AI to help us find low competition keywords for our niche. I will see you in the next video.